The gun is pointed in a safe direction. There is no way that gun can hurt anybody. It's shelling the gun, closes the action, and mounts it. See how he mounts it? His arm is completely out. Some kids like to lower their arm because it's more comfortable. However, what he is very good at is always keeping his stance. All of his weight is forward, hips are centered underneath of him, but yet he still has pressure on the front foot. It never changes. Every single time, if he was to go out and shoot 100 straight birds, this is the same stance he would have to have every single time. The secret to trap shooting is repetition. As soon as he mounts it, he is putting that bead out there and raising his eyes to capture that bird as it flies. When you bring that gun up, call for that bird, your eyes are looking above the trap or in the area in which your eyes can easily see that bird. When you look at the clay, you either want to look in the middle or in the front of it. Because on a shotgun, there is no back sight. Your eye is the back sight. And there's no such thing as aiming a shotgun, only pointing a shotgun. If you chip the bird in the front, I am totally happy. That means that he is seeing the bird completely and he is in front. I'd rather have a kid in front than behind. A large percent of the time, when you miss a bird, you will be behind it. When he moves up, he is nice and smooth with the shotgun. There is no jerky movement. As he moves smoothly with it, he's not trying to jerk it and get past the bird. You will see guys that come out here and just jerk the bird and shoot. That is a great way to stop, because once you jerk, that's one motion and you're done. But if you smoothly follow through to the bird and your continuous motion, there is a very good chance that you're not going to stop on the bird. We try to teach our kids, just because you stop the bird there, continue through with it. Push it. Shotgun pellets do not go out in one big burst. It is a string. And as you lay a string, it's just like shooting silly string. As you go out, you're going to spray it across the wall. Just like a garden hose. Garden hose is a great example. And that also practices and helps you from not stopping your gun when you're going towards a bird. When he is ready, he'll call pull, follows the gun, fires. Soon after the fires, he ejects the shell, and the gun goes back in the neutral, safe position. It was perfect setup. He moved to the bird. He took his time. Perfect. And there you go.